Hey guys, it's coffee time. I just got done buying some things that I keep saying I need to buy, although I completely spaced buying any lamps. I don't know why that is. Because <laughs> I keep talking about lighting. I'm like, oh man, the lighting in the living room is just abysmal. Like, I really need to get some lamps. Didn't buy any lamps, but I did buy drapes, which do the opposite of lamps. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. I don't have drapes for the patio doors because they're too wide and I need the duck. I don't need, I want the double rod curtain so that I can have like the sheer curtains. Yeah, the sheer drapes and then the like darkening drapes. If that makes sense. Look it up, look it up. I think I, ah, double rod curtain. Double, double rod curtains or double curtain rod. Look, yes. Yeah, look that up. You'll see what I'm talking about. Because if I, okay, so my projector showed up, but the ceiling mounting equipment did not. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I still can't even put it up. Um, but the idea, I might have explained this already. The idea is that we would have, I would have, me and the cat would have um, all of my different systems right here. And then, and obviously the computer and be able to hook whatever up to the projector that would be mounted right here. And then this wall back here would be a screen. So that means that I need to be able to make this room completely dark, uh, which is great, which is fine, easy. Um, I just have to do it. So if I have the double curtain rod, then I can have the sheer ones that let in a lot of light if I still want drapes closed for whatever reason. Um, but then I can also get blackout drapes that can also be closed. So I like that. I like that that can be a thing. Um, but as for now, I have a curtain rod and drapes for the kitchen and a curtain rod and drapes for the bedroom because those are the areas where I look out and I just see bodies all the time and I'm like oh, I don't want this because that means you can also see my body and that's weird not that I just like walk around my apartment naked all the time well plenty of people do I should probably just take that up but um yeah so I got I got the I got the drapes I got a temporary genie chair so Jeannie and I keep joking that since she's probably going to be over here all the time, um, I need to have a genie chair. It can't just be like me and my squishy comfy chair and her like way back on the couch, wherever the couch winds up being. So we kept saying that I needed a second computer chair so that I have a genie chair. And also so that I have a chair for guests when I have coffee time with friends. So instead, I wound up with this folding chair <laughs> as the temporary genie chair. But it's like, it's like squishy. It's like nice. It's not, it's definitely, look, it's top of the line folding chair material. So happy to have that so that whenever somebody needs to be doing a thing with me at the computer, it will be awkward. And I'm like, well, go ahead and shove the couch up, guy. So yeah, I need to, I'm still, I'm still trying to break in that couch some more. I keep like, walking on it and jumping on it and like doing my thing. So eventually, I mean, it's, it, don't get me wrong. This couch is really comfortable, but there's, there's like a hidden layer of broken in comfort that I know is there. So I want that. I want that hidden layer. Um, but yeah. Did you guys hear, I don't know how many of you even care about EverQuest, but I'm so excited. Like I keep reading more and more about EverQuest next. And I just, uh, all the reviews for it are so good. I just want to play it so bad. I'm signing up for the beta right now, um, because I want to play it. Oh my goodness. Look, EverQuest was my first MMO that I got really addicted to that I just loved so much. Before World of Warcraft even came out, before that was even a thing, there was EverQuest, and EverQuest was my everything. And, um... And then, you know, it, like, it started to go downhill. I obviously, like, without my parents, I didn't have the money to be paying for an EverQuest subscription because I was a BB at the time. And so I wound up not being able to play because my mom was like, I'm sorry, I just, I can't be spending this much on your video game every month. And I was like, no, I, I get it. So I, I had to give it up after a while. But, um, 
And then, like, you know, World of Warcraft became a thing, and I was like, oh, you can get, like, 60-day free trials of this. That's pretty cool. And so I would do that and then be like, ah, now I have to pay for it like an adult. Uh, and that was always really hard. But then, um, you know, EverQuest just, like, like, went through a lot of this. Now they're more on the free-to-play zone. But they still have that notoriety amongst people that were of a certain age when it first came out, when it was, like, the thing, right? So I feel like it's people in my age group or older, mostly, that are going, oh my gosh, a new EverQuest game that looks promising? That's exciting. Because I don't know anybody, maybe some of you probably did, I don't know anybody that really cared at all about EverQuest 2. Um, but I love, man, EverQuest 1 was so great. Tierney, my cousin. Tierney and I used to play EverQuest all the time, and uh, my other cousin, Lizzie, all of us would play it, and it was, oh my gosh. Mwah. Mwah. It was just, it was great, especially, like, living somewhere that, even, even though the internet was really bad, just being able to play, like, a little bit at a time when we were all so far spread out. Like, living in farming country, I didn't have neighbors. I didn't have, like, kids I could play with. So being able to hop on this game... And, and play it with my cousin, who I rarely got to see. You know, it was just so much fun, and she was really into it. I wasn't as into it as her, but I was still was still pretty, pretty in the EverQuest zone. So, I don't know. EverQuest Next is like EverQuest, but sandboxed. And everybody's like, dang, this looks like it could be really good. And I'm like, don't play with my heart. Don't say that, because now I'm going to hope for too much. I'm going to just be like, yeah, that would be yeah, it's going to be the best thing ever. When it might not be, might not be the best thing ever, guys. Oh. But yeah. My mom, um, hi mommy. My mom sent a Sherlock Cat Care package with, um, with some balls to play with. He hasn't quite, these ones are, he's a very particular cat. Um, these ones are firmer than he's used to and also smaller than he's used to. So he keeps like, he'll chase them. But then they don't, like, he'll, he'll try to, he'll bite into them and then be like, mm, and walk away. But I think, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna love them eventually. We just have to, again, more things to break in. We just have to break them in. Because I have no idea where I put his other balls. Because <laughs> I'm the worst mom in the world. I know they're in a box somewhere. But there are so many boxes just, like, all over the place. What was it that I needed to find? I needed to find a USB drive. And I remember packing them up and being like, all right, this would be easy to get to. No idea where they are. No idea. I had to use an external hard drive to take something to the office today when it should have just been able, I should have been able to use like a dinky USB drive. It was so silly. It's just like, okay, well, this is fine. <laughs> But I still, I have no idea where those USB drives are. I have literally a cup filled with them. And I was like, okay, it shouldn't be hard to find a cup that isn't in one of the, like, standard mug boxes, right? So, like, there are boxes that have mugs, and then there are boxes that are going to be filled with supplies of some sort that also has a mug in there. And I can say to myself, ah, that's probably one of the mugs that I kept things in. No idea where this mug is. Where are my USB drives? No one knows. No one knows. Um, my my old roommates, Chris and Sarah, were so sweet, though. They gave me a, uh, a Target gift card as, like, a hope you're enjoying your new home gift. And I was like, oh! It was so sweet of them. Uh, so I'll have, to, <laughs> I'll have to use that, sirs and madams. That's going to be great. And um, apparently I left a small stack of stuff at the apartment. Oops. So... I gotta take care of that. <laughs> I gotta go back and get that. It's like, it's like little things, like my travel Scrabble thing. I have what looks kind of like a book or a binder, but you unzip it and it's a travel Scrabble board. I love that thing. So I have that. And then uh, my two Fiasco books, the game Fiasco, that I left there. And uh, what else was there? They gave me, I was, I was sent a short list. So I'll have to go there and and grab all that. But overall today, I, I feel like pretty good about everything that went down today. 
uh, Strippin's in town took him to In-N-Out and tweeted out and said, hey, what should, because his, his phone doesn't work here. So I was like, don't worry, I got this. I was like, what, what should we make Strippin' eat at In-N-Out? And everybody was like, four by four animal style with animal fries. And I was like, oh my gosh. Apparently you can get a 10 by 10. I was like, no, no, that's not going to happen. Um, but he was like, what is, what is a four, what does that mean? And I was like, I'm assuming that means four patties. Like, that's what I, that's what I would assume. And he was like, okay. So he got that. I got just the burger because I wasn't super hungry. And he just annihilated it. It was crazy. There were like four of us there. And he got, to, he got the most, the most food and like the hardest thing to eat out of all of us. And he was just like gone. We were like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> It's like, uh, well, I should have expected that. Um, but he enjoyed it and out. So there you go. All of you that were tweeting being like, um, make sure that somebody takes strip into in and out. Don't worry, guys. We got it. We did it. Um, and yeah, other than that, film Daily Bite. Film a, a promo for Friend Zone because that's going to be happening next week. And that's about it. I'm going to go hang up my drapes. What? But I hope that you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.